I think everybody knows what time it is. Um, Black Friday sales. Wow, were those great. Uh, we managed to scoop this up. We got two of these from GameStop for $30 a piece. I only got a second one because you needed a $59 minimum for free shipping. So I might as well have get, gotten two. Um, I think I want to save that one for my sealed collection. But I guess we'll see how this opening goes. If I don't get anything, then I'll just pull it out. Um, before we start the video, let me put you guys on to something. I got this in today, which is awesome. I wasn't supposed to get it until January 6th. Say it's November 30th when I'm recording, and I got this in already. And wow, I'm so excited about this card. Japanese exclusive. If you guys don't know or if you've never seen it before, this is the first card, the first promo card, as you can see down here for Scarlet and Violet. You can see 001, you can see promo, and then 001 for the first. And then you can see slash SV Scarlet Violet dash P promo. Um, the only way that you can get this is if you pre-ordered both Scarlet and Violet. If you have a chance to get your hands on this card, no, I'm not an investor. I'm a collector, so I don't know how these things go, but it seems like from looking at the one they did last year that this should be worth money in a relatively short period of time. So let me put you on that real quick, because what a cool card, if nothing else. You know what I mean? And it's Japanese, so it's like perfect. It's all centered. It's all lined up. It's cut right. The corners are nice. The edges are immaculate. Like, but yeah, I got that for like $23, I think. I had to wait like two months to get it. But part of that is because I bought it before it was released. So the game only released like 12 days ago. So I guess I got it pretty quick considering it actually came from Japan. So, all right, let's get into this super excited for this I, i've been looking at this for a long time i never pulled the trigger uh and then i saw it was on sale and i saw it was only 30 bucks and i was like yep we're doing this i wasn't for sure if we were gonna do it but yeah we are definitely doing it because wow look at that card you know i'm so upset that i was not here in sun and moon because look at that card You know how excited, how insanely excited I would have been to open up a tag team pack or a team up pack or just anything that was a, that had tag team in it. Like literally, man, this is awesome. Also, why is this centered so good compared to Sword and Shield? Was Sun and Moon just printed better? Is Pokemon just going overboard? Can they not like handle it? It makes you wonder, right? And then this beautiful promo card. This is probably also, once again, another promo card that we're probably gonna get this graded as well. I think grading promo cards, like the jumbo cards, is such an underrated thing. I think more people should do it. Um, they look so nice in those slabs, man. And it's crazy that I can't go on YouTube or anything. <gasps> what? Oh my God, this doesn't fit. No, it doesn't fit in my binder. Come on, no. It's too big. It's too big. Man, that sucks. I want to keep this fresh. Like, it has to stay fresh. Anyways, um, maybe I will might have to expedite the process of getting that graded because I don't want it to go bad or anything like that, and I want to keep it protected. But anyways, those, the, the graded jumbo cards look so nice, man, in those big slabs. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see like a jumbo card return video. I've only really been able to find a couple online. I haven't searched a crazy amount either, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Inside of this, we should expect one gold foil featuring Pikachu and Zekrom. That's our promo card. And then the same, but an oversized version. We have 10 booster packs and a code card. No pens, no extra, no extra gimmicks. Just, you know, cards and cards is what we came for. We have one brilliant stars. Ooh, we have an evolving skies, a chilling rain, a vivid voltage, and a darkness ablaze. Okay. Now we have... 
our first fusion strike. Okay. We have a second fusion strike, a second evolving skies, a second chilling rain, and a second darkness blaze. Nice. What a lineup. So two of everything except for brilliant stars and vivid voltage. Usually we will that means we'll open open those last, but we'll probably save evolving skies for last. So let's go fusion strike first, then chilling rain, then darkness ablaze. And then we will go vivid voltage, brilliant stars, and then we will finish off with evolving skies. That sounds like a plan to me. Um, before we get started, don't forget, you want a code card, you want our code cards, uh, leave a comment, I will give you our code cards. Anything that we pulled today, or anything in general, if you have a certain thing you're looking for a code for, I might have it. I might just be able to send it to you. So, Fusion Strike up first, something that we've been getting some pretty good heat out of lately. Uh, Espeon VMAX, Cello VV, both alt arts. Uh, would love, love, love to get the uh, Gengar. That's the big chase card for the set. Um, we've gotten two of the Genesec full arts, so I would love this time to maybe get a Genesec alt art. I would love to have a breakdancing Genesec. That would be super cool. Let's get a sidekick. Water. All right. We have a Zarud. A Del Kitty. A Darkrai. A Durant. A Panseer, a Minnum, a Baltoy, a Galarian Corsola, a Reverse Cook, and an Araquanid. I believe that is an Araquanid. All right, Genesect up front. Genesect up front. Can we get some Genesect in the back? Genesect for my people in the back, huh? It's a little cold where I'm at, so my fingers aren't working as well as they should. We're out in Michigan, and if anybody lives in Michigan or anywhere nearby, you guys know it gets pretty chilly, man. So I can't open packs as cleanly as usual today. Uh, fire. Oh, fire. Heat me up. Let's go. Heat me up. All right, let's see. We got a Breloom. We got a Cross Switcher. We got a Garbodar. We have a Meryl. A Helopatile. We have a Wooloo. A Glossifer. We have a Mudkip. A Reverse Galarian Preserker. And an Azumarill. How did Azumarill pull off the rare slot, man? Who did Azumarill get with to pull that off? How is he in the rare slot? Ooh, look at that. Two of the birds. We have our Galarian Moltres and our Galarian Zapdos, which, how dirty did Galarian Zapdos get made for for Galar? Like a fighting type Zapdos. Moltres looks dope. Moltres looks as good as he ever has. But Zapdos, man. Maybe the next region. Maybe in the next region, my guy. Maybe in the next region you can pull a Moltres. Because right now... You know, you're in the doghouse, that's for sure. Lapras up front. Save that in our Lapras pile. For our friend who collects Lapras. Put that up there. Would it be Lapras's or would it be Lapras I? I don't know. Let's get a fighting type for our poor little Galarian Zapdos leaf. We have Crushing Gloves. A Kirlia Justified Gloves. A Blitzel, oh no, global warming, what can I tell you? A, a Ron, a, a Ron, eating them nuts, boy. We have a Deerling. We have a Del, Deli Bird, Deli Bird came for Christmas. Shup it, and the roll of a lifetime, the cinematic roll of a lifetime. And a Galarian Sir Fetched. A Galarian Sir Fetched. What a gentleman. Milady, Milady, Milady. Yeah. Okay, I need scissors. This ain't working. This ain't working today. My fingers uh, gave out. They said we're not working today. 
All right, this is gonna be our fourth pack. Can we get our first hit? Not even, not even a hollow to speak of yet. Just a Lapras. Just a Lapras. Lightning. Water. We have a Flaffy. Karen's Conviction. What a Karen. Weeding Gloves. Oh. We got a Deerling. A Sneasel. Man, leave Obama Snow alone, bro. What'd he do to you? Galarian Farfetch'd, my lady, my, my lady, my lady. A Furfru, a Venipede, a reverse cast form. Oh, oh, yes! Galarian Articuno Altar. How have we been doing on these alt arts lately, huh? How have we been doing on these alt arts lately? Nice. Ooh, look at that centering, boy. Look at that centering. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm giddy right now. I'm giddy right now. It's not a Moltres. You know, we had a Moltres. And a Zapdos is our pack art. I was wondering where Articuno was at. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work on camera, but let's try something real quick. I thought about doing this before, but I've never tried this on camera. Can we see? Can we see? Oof, look, perfect. Look how clean that is. All right, before I give somebody a headache, I cannot look through that thing for hardly ever before I start. My eyes just start hurting. So, nice! We got a alt art from Chilling Rain. That's the best hit we've ever had from Chilling Rain. I don't, I mean, that's hard to beat, right? I mean, the only thing really that's better than that is, that, well, we know that like the Moltres is better than that, but. Wow, that is such a cool card, man. I love that. Galarian Articuno. Galarian Articuno, I don't think was done dirty. For sure was not done dirty the way that um, Zapdos was. Zapdos was just, yeah. I don't even think Zapdos wants to talk about it. Darkness of Blaze, we are now on. Can we get a Psychic in honor of our Galarian Articuno? Fighting. Let's see, we have a Pokemon Breeders uh, Nurturing, we have a Fetch Finder, Hidden Energy, we have a Torchic, a Starly, a Skarmory, Patrolling the Skies, we have a Pan Sage, we have an Electrike, I'm going to be so upset if we get something good in the reverse, because I the reverse keeps showing early. Is it because it's so slick? I don't know. Oh, oh, back to back. We got a Caesar VMAX. Yes, Rainbow Rare. Alt, or not Alt Art. Uh, Rainbow Rare. Uh, what's the word? Uh, Secret Rare. Rainbow Rare. Nice. Oh. Nice. Look at that. Look at the texture. Oh. Oh, is this centered up clean as hell, too? Dude, what? Come on, bro. Darkness of Blaze. Darkness of Blaze. You didn't have to do that. Why would you do that? Oh, yes. I might have to open the other box, bro. I really am trying to start a sealed collection. All I have in my sealed collection is the two board games, uh, the freaking battle arena games. That's all I have in my sealed collection. And that's literally because like, they're not packs. So like, I know what's in them. Nice, come on. At this point, I'm excited for Evolving Skies. Wow, two hits in a row. And we were just talking about how we haven't gotten any hits yet. <sighs> 
I'm smiling. Who got you smiling like that, bro? Who got you smiling like that? So, five packs in. We haven't hit any uh, hollow cards either, which is just, I love, uh, it's, I'm smiling even harder because of that. Let's get a medal now in honor of our Caesar review, Max. Bro. What's happening? Do we have a god box, bro? Simipore. Ooh, what a sexy little Simipore. Don't sit there like that. All seductive light. We have a Lunatone. A Dartrix. A Wimpod. A Grimer. A Clink. A Ducklet. A Mareep. A Zulius. Oh, there it is. An Arctazolt. Arctazolt. You know what I've noticed on some of these cards too? Do you see what this card evolved from? Can you see it from there? Here. Can you see that from here? That is so cool that this card evolves from a rare fossil. Like, I love that. I think that is so cool. I've seen it with a couple other cards too. Uh, I can't tell you right now off the top of my head, but yeah. It's so cool. All right, next up, can we get a Chunkachu? Can we get a Zacian Amazing Rare? I'd be cool with that. Because we have a Zamazenta. We have a Celebi as well. I think Celebi's from here. Um, we have the Celebi and the Zamazenta in PSA. We have Celebi on a nine. We have Zamazenta in a 10, but that's in our PSA collection. So if we can get a Zacian, I wouldn't hate that. I mean, for an Amazing Rare, otherwise, Definitely Rainbow Rare, Chunkachu, um, Leaf. Yeah, I can't think of a bunch off the top of my head right now. We have Drone Rotom, which I think these cards are cool too, the Rotoms. We have a Kakuna, Kakuna, a Kara Liss, Kara Liss, get it? <laughs> we have a Wilmer, a Tynemo, Execute, always one that's broken. Is he dead now? Like, his brains are leaking out. Can we not talk about that? We have a Chetot, a Clavopus, a Toucan Sam, a Toucan and Toucan Sam in the reverse. Oh, and a Beedrill. 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 Beedrill gonna mess your day up, son. Don't talk to Beedrill. Do you guys think that I should open the second box? Is like, I can't believe I picked this one to open, first of all, because that would have sucked if I didn't open this one ever, but I sold it in like 20 years from now to get somebody like, and then I end up giving away my Galarian Articuno Altar, which is, who knows what that's even going to be worth by then, and a Scizor VMAX Rainbow Rare in the same box. Um, Is this a grass, I think? I think this is a grass. Oh my God, it's a V-Star marker. <gasps> if only hits were like that, huh? You just black black backs. You just know right away. Cleansing gloves. We have a big boy float soul. A Cyglyph. A Aravenoid. An Aravenoid Pokemon. A Shinx playing with his tail. We have a far fetched. Another execute. He's dead, right? He's definitely the dumbest one of the group. Look at that expression. We have a Grimer. A Clefairy. A Vibreva. Oh, and an Arceus Full Heart. Come on, bro. Let's go. God, this card's amazing too. We already have one of these as well, but God, that's like the coolest full art card. I just love the patterns on the full art sometimes more than the actual card. Like, I don't know, the patterns, can you guys see the texture? Look at that, I love that. But man, sometimes the, the patterns on these are like cooler than, I don't know. I love this tie-dye look. I definitely like it more than like V cards and V stars and V maxes. I mean, an alt art is pretty nice, so I'm not gonna go out and say that. But besides alt arts, 
you know, I think that my favorites have got to be full arts. All right, down to this. We've been doing really good so far. Three, three big hits. Like, three really good hits. Three better than V-Star hits. God, can we keep the trend going? Can we pull an alt art out of Evolving Skies? We've only gotten one. And at the time, I did not fully know what an alt art even was. At the time that we pulled said alt art. So, uh, who knows? I, I want to feel it. I want to feel what it's like to pull an alt art from Evolving Skies. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the edge on this. Bro, what happened to you? What happened to you, huh? <laughs> you lived a whole life, bro. You lived a whole life inside of this pack. Lightning. Fire. Can we get a flaring on? Shopping center. I don't even want to talk about flaring on. I'm so upset about flaring on. We'll see if we even post the video. I have a very big issue with an eBay seller right now, but I'll keep you guys updated later. If it gets resolved, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk bad. Uh, we have a Herdier, a Pyroar, comes from a Lit Leo, a Punkaboo, Carvana. What came first, the fish or the car company? We have a Gossifer. We have a Fetchling, Scraggly. What a mess, bro! Get to class. Why are you running in the halls? A uh, Rehan and a Tropius. Just a Tropius. I swear, Tropius is like, I have more Tropiuses from Evolving Skies than probably anything else. What's the other one I always hit? It's always Tropius and one other card, I feel like. It's always in the rare. We might need to get another ETB of this. We have a Walmart that still has them in stock, the ETBs. But they, they only have the, they only have one of them. They don't have both of them. I forget which one they have in stock. Um, it's the one with like Umbreon and all of them and the psychics and everything. But we might have to get two more of these because this is kind of a fun set to open. It's tough, but it's a fun set to open. Um, let's get darkness for Umbreon. Water, can we get a Vaporeon then, huh? Water, any evolution I would lose my mind. We have an Aroma Lady. We have a Moon and Sun Badge. My fingers do not work. Rapid Strike, Scroll of the Flying Dragon. We have a Teddy Rusa. A Mareep. A Zura. A Tentacool. A Hopip. An Elemental Badge, and I'm seeing something. <gasps> a Garbodo V. I thought it was going to be something bigger, but it is a full art. Man, we got two full arts out of this. How crazy is that? Are these all like this? I don't know, man. I'm probably not going to do it right now. <sighs> but I might have a second one of these videos up. Like, ASAP. Look at that. That's actually a really cool full art, too. No snap, bro. Remember, we only paid $30 for these boxes. That is not bad at all. Like, one hollow, thank God, a promo. So if you count our promo, we got five banger hits. Like five, like, happy to get out of an ETB hits. Right? Wow. Look at that glaring Articuno. That's for sure going in our our graded box like what we're doing with this one but wow today's been a good day for opening opening up packs that's for sure hope you guys enjoyed the video and until tomorrow well we'll see you then